What's going on everybody at Smoky Farm? And we're here on my Patreon server. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a little quick tour. Um, I am using my camera account. I am actually playing the map in survival mode with everybody else. Um, been having a blast. We launched the server uh, last Saturday, which was July 11th, and the town is already coming together. As you can see, um, there are houses and buildings everywhere. People are building stuff. There's a gigantic castle in the works over here. Uh, somebody has already started working on a small mob spawner. I think we're going to be putting together a gigantic mobs on demand spawner as kind of a group project. Uh, we're going to be doing an iron golem farm. Uh, we do have some small XP farms and stuff as well already. Uh, so we're we're all getting the resources we need. We're kind of at the point of thriving now. We're not uh, starving or anything. We have uh, we have a little cow and sheep farm right there, right below me. You can't see the cows. We're not close enough. There they are. Um, we have some wheat farms. Uh, I did find a jungle, so I brought back some cocoa beans and jungle saplings. So. Um, and I think we've found all of the different trees, so we've we've kind of explored around a little bit and found some of the different biomes and things like that. But I wanted to give you guys a quick tour because I uh, I did actually stream on launch day for about six hours, um, and we have we have I think 25 or six people that have logged on and played so far um, from my Patreon uh, group, so. We've got a lot of people here building stuff. I think we have, uh, I'm just in the the morning time actually, and I think we have six people on right now. Um, we've had between, you know, five or 10 people on at all times pretty much since uh, since we launched on opening day. Like I said, we had about 20 people uh, log in, 20 or 25 uh, throughout the day. Um, we had a six hour live stream, it was awesome. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour um, while, uh, I actually go, I have to head out and find a specific biome that I'm looking for to build my house. So I'm going to go do that and uh, in the meantime I'll give you a quick flyby tour of the town so far so you can see everything and I'll show you where I'm going to build as well. Okay, so this is our hometown center where everybody kind of hung out in the very beginning while we were trying to get a grips on everything and make sure we survived and, and uh, you know, defend ourselves from all the mobs and all that. Uh, we have a sort of incomplete building. Uh, the top, we need to put some kind of roof on. Uh, but this is a town center. Apparently there's cake everywhere. Uh, let there be cake. <laughs> But uh, this is a little machine here that uh, turns, uh, it drops water during the day and then when it gets dark at night, uh, it replaces the water with lava to light up the place and it's all set on daylight sensors and everything like that. So anyway, this is kind of the town center like I said and then everybody has started spreading out from here uh, to build their houses. Um, this is a super cool little house. I, I really like the... Uh, the rooftop, how it's, uh, you know, multi, got little multi-angle things going along here. Um, and there is a sign here, so I will show you guys that. The crazy ghost. The crazy ghost has built this one. Um, my house is actually going to be right here. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do 100%, but I know I need to go get some blocks that I want to use that are going to be a little bit unique. Um, so that is what I have to do right now. Um, and we have GD Swords. It's got a nice little cottage with some flowers up front. Um, doesn't look like we have a sign. Oh, there is a sign. Oh, this is Skrillard's house. He built it along the water. Um, we, like I said, we've got a mob spawner over there. Uh, this is kind of a windy bridge that goes over to this castle that's being built. Apparently, this is not the whole part of it either. There's going to be a lot more. I won't disclose anything in case uh, in case they show this on YouTube or anything. Don't want to spoil anything. Um, but let's see. Then we've got another cool house. Everybody was saying this one looks like a face. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think so. It looks like a pretty cool little face up there on the top. Um, and this is the watchtower. Oh, tag. Uh, tag already taken is the full name of the uh, the player. Um, and here's another kind of similar house. It's kind of upside down, like it goes 
upside down pyramid style. Um, I don't see a sign out here though, so yeah, I don't actually know who built this one. Um, we have a little tree house type of thing over here, which is pretty cool. Um, this is spruce trees. We have like an abundance of spruce trees in this map, like on this continent, <laughs> there's spruce everywhere. And that's uh, Vitalica or Vitalica. Uh, I don't think we, ha I think we have one building over here and that's it. We still have kind of an open peninsula if it would load. Yeah, I'm, when I'm recording, it takes a little more time to load while I'm flying around because the chunks aren't loaded. Um, we've got Letter Short's little cottage out here. Lots of wheat and either potatoes or carrots, it looks like. Uh, so I wanted to remind uh, everybody who is planning on joining or that already joined for next month, uh, we do go month by month. So at any time uh, during the current month when you join, you'll be added to the server uh, the following month. You don't actually get charged on Patreon, so it's not like you're, you know, paying for nothing if, if the only reason you're supporting me is to get on the server. Um, that's cool. So anyway, uh, let's get these chunks loaded over here. Oh, we've got a little underground stairway. We can see everything. Um, this, I believe, is OB1, what's the full name? OB1 Master 99. Uh, I think this is our only female player. I No, I think we do have a couple. Um, I think she's the only one that uh, was playing on the server so far. Um, but, uh, let's see. And then we have dead God. This is a cool little cottage. It's very ornate with, uh, little fences and stuff. And we've got a little cake hut. I haven't seen this one. I think this is just a, uh, a preparing to build a house. Let's see what's going on down here. Yeah, they're just working on stuff. Um, and we've got a cool little castle over here. It's like a miniature little castle, but it looks pretty looks pretty strong, like fortress style, you know, like a tight little fortress. It's got a cool little walkway and stuff through here. Um, yeah, so by the way, yeah, what, what I was saying uh, about the server is there's still tons of space here, so don't you worry if, uh, if you didn't get in for the July launch uh, for next month, you know, there's still going to be tons of stuff, tons of open spots over there, uh, like way over there, tons of, uh, tons of space over there. And that's right, you know, just on the outskirts of the center of town. And then over on this side as well, there's, you know, more than enough space. Uh, there are a couple people that actually kind of went outside the city a bit to, uh, to build, which is, I guess you'd call this across the river. There's a little river that goes here. Um, and we have a couple houses. Um, this one is really cool. It's using the uh, the acacia wood, the orange kind of wood. I believe this is Ray's house. Uh, is that his sign? Oh no, sorry, that's Divine. Uh, I gotta figure out how to pronounce it though. Divine Winds Winds News. I I always see window. It's I think of Divine Window. I don't know what that means, but uh, Winds News if I pronounce that correctly, but that's, uh, that's a really cool use of that, uh, that wood. I haven't used that wood much in building, so it's cool to see that style. It looks pretty awesome. Um, and another cool little cottage over here. Let's see, who do we have? Oh, there's Derp. Derp Dynasty doing the little bow, checking out the place. He's got his little farms going. Ooh, little chicken farm and some little piggies. Very cool. I don't think anybody's gone past this point, um, maybe exploring, but not building at least. Um, let's take you back over here. There's a couple other cool places. Um, there's a in-progress house over here. I think this is Grampy, uh, what's the full name? Grampy Rick. We call him, uh, we just call him Grampy. Um, so there's a, a cool little mountaintop uh, cave cottage kind of thing. Uh, this one I really like because the use of the leaves, um, it's just super awesome. And it looks really good at night too. Um, and I'm drawing a blank on the name. I know who built this. Um, oh, this is Winman. Yeah. Yeah. This is Winman's house. Um, so that, that one's a really cool hilltop kind of tree house looking thing. I really like that one. Um, and over here, 
We have um, we have I gotta pronounce the name right. Verdelux? No wait, I gotta figure out how to pronounce it. Vert or Vertex or some it's and he didn't put his full name on here. So it's Vert. We just call him Vert, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um, so we've got uh, this is a cool little use of white uh, white glass and it's kind of double layers. It's got a little balcony we walking and it's got an underwater viewing area, which is super awesome. Um, and then down over here, we already have a little zombie farm. Where's the entrance? Yeah, it's down over here. And I'm going to go down here just to show you the, uh, the little room we have for the zombie farm. It's super cool. I really like this design. It's, it's kind of the style I would normally build in, um, you know, with the stone bricks and the dark wood and glowstone and stuff. So um, that's really cool. I like it. It's been uh, very helpful <laughs> for us to, uh, to get our XP since we don't have, uh, we don't have an Enderman farm. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is uh, a lot of community projects like an iron golem farm, a mob farm. We're going to do some community things like attacking the end. We'll probably attack the end before Minecraft 1.9 comes out, but then we'll probably reset it when 1.9 comes out. So then um, we'll have all of the new features, you know, like all uh, 1.9 has some new blocks and a new mob in the end coming out and these pre-built little weird houses in the end. Um, so we're definitely going to be, you know, resetting to, uh, you know, to take advantage of that. Uh, by the way, if anybody on the server, if I missed your house, uh, make sure you let me know and I will show it next time I do a tour. But um, I'm going to hop back on as Monkey Farm and get back to playing because I have some blocks to collect before I can build my house. And we're back. I've got a ton of packed ice here and I'm going to be building a house using a lot of this. Uh, I'm not going to really get into what I want to do yet here because I have to clear out or I have to kind of I have to landscape this place a little bit. I'm going to bring out some dirt over on the side uh, and knock off the top of this hill over here. I've got a little entrance to my mine down here. Uh, surprisingly, uh, not too bad underneath. We have we do crisscross each other's mines uh, down under there. Uh, quite frequently, but uh, what I've done is kind of tunneled out, way out under the ocean and started mining out there, so I have a little bit more open space to myself um, to mine, and I think I think everybody's doing that a little bit. Um, so yeah, things are doing, uh, things are going pretty well here. Another thing, uh, I will be live streaming more, uh, I'm hoping once or twice a week here on the server, and maybe even a little Hermitcraft or some mini games or whatever. And so keep your eye out for that. Uh, I've been streaming on YouTube. I did the launch day on YouTube, which I had to remove. Unfortunately, I know a lot of you have asked me about where's the video because you weren't able to, to join during the actual live stream. Uh, unfortunately, I had to remove the video because um, uh, YouTube had published the non-public part of my live stream in the replay recording. And uh, I had exposed some of our, uh, our IP information. But um, I've changed all that and set up passwords and everything for the our, our little group team speak thing and everything. So anyway, um, unfortunately, so I, I had just removed the video. I, I could have cropped it or something, but it was six hours long and everything. So anyway, that's why I wanted to give you kind of a, a little world tour, a quick tour here on the server for now. Um, we're looking forward to having more people join next month. So we're excited to get some new people in a few weeks as well. That'll be fun. And we're going to be doing some community group uh, events and projects. We'll be doing, you know, little mini games. We're going to uh, think about building an arena as well for, you know, PvP matches and stuff like that. So things are coming along nicely. I hope you guys like it. And that is it for now. We'll see you later.